to the Northwood Blue versus Widener University Rocket League match. Oh, I lost the game audio. Do you have it? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're getting ready to the game here soon. Uh, just waiting for the uh, teams to join up here. And it looks like we are about to get underway here. All right, so on the, uh, I believe on the blue side here, we have Northwood Blue. And on the orange, we have Widener Esports. Um, currently, Widener is going into week five of the NACE Varsity Premier. Uh, I believe they're three and two right now. And Northwood is sitting at four and oh, undefeated. And they have not dropped a single game yet. And there's Lion Blaze going up to get a touch, puts it into the corner. Hockey looking to do something with it, not quite going to get it. Here comes Widener with the center, looking to put some pressure onto Northwood early. Hockey gets a great pass up to Buddy. Buddy doesn't quite get the touch there. Widener makes a good clear. And here they come in the great counter attack. Good 50 from Lion Blaze right there to stop him as fast as they could. Scoob in midfield gets a good touch, oh. looking for a reset, but Hockey punishes the touch and finds a wide open net. Yeah, he did a good job stopping the ball, just not right where he wanted to put that. He kind of just teed up hockey for a perfect shot on the net, and that gives Northwood the 1-0 lead, only 28 seconds into game one. Absolutely, and here comes Buddy. Gets a good 50 off of the kickoff, but here comes Widener on a counterattack. Davey may be looking for a touch. Gets the touch line with a great 50 up in the air. Northwood coming on their counterattack, led by Buddy. And Lion quick to follow. Oh no, just an uncharacteristic miss from him. And oh, there's the net. That's, yeah, that was wide open there. Widener uh, makes a great punish oh, on no. that. I guess they just weren't expecting Lion Blaze to miss like that. And what a pass right to Davey, who puts it into the net for uh, Widener University, giving them the tie after one minute. Uh, off the kickoff, we see Hockey just stalling in the middle, but Lion not able to read the little pop-up. And uh, Lion with a little bit of a whiff there, but still man Northwood still manages to fend off Widener and finds an open net in the process. Hockey gets another goal, assisted from Lion Blaze to put Northwood up 2-1. to one. So he goes from whiffing on a pretty uh, regular save to s absolutely setting up a dime for Hockey to score. Just, just another day on the field, I guess. I, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, like, definitely interesting indeed. Widener looking to make a counterattack from a little push from Northwood there, but Lion Blaze looking to control it up on the wall, controlling it right in front of Northwood's net, able to clear it away and gets a little bit of a breakaway here, gets a flick, might find the back, unfortunately off the crossbar, but Hockey gets a hat trick on that follow-up. Oh my. The constant pressure from Northwood. You have Lion, you have Hockey, you have Buddy all storming to your half. Unfortunately, Buddy took the uh, br uh, bad end of a demo there and got taken out by Hockey right there to fill his place and put it in for the 3-1 lead now for Northwood. It seemed like Northwood was off to a bit of an it great demo from Buddy right there. Northwood was off to a very interesting start, a little bit rocky in some scenarios, but it seems like they're starting to get it all together now as Lion doesn't quite put that one in he, he actually he saved his own shot there oh it yeah. was going in and then he just yeah. he saved it on accident just unfortunate just didn't have enough boost and wasn't able to put it in but what a pass that uh i'm surprised nobody was there for northwood that was lined up perfectly for him and it we're seeing a bunch of uh double commits here it seems like anyone and everyone from northwood was supposed to go out to this ball here i'd say the most important thing about them all going for it is their not really getting punished too severely for it. I mean, of course, it messes up the rotation slightly, but it seems like they see they're they recovering well and they're able to make some conversions here as Lion gets a good center right there, cleared by Widener. Hockey with a follow-up, not quite going to get it off the ceiling, dropping down into the corner of the net. Nothing yet. He actually opted to pass it out of the other team's net right back to, towards Buddy, who just uh, Buddy is going to take his time to go off the ceiling. He's Oh, he almost had the air dribble into the net. Just not quite there. And here comes the Widener turning back the other way. Lion opting for a back pass to Buddy, who will pop it over to Hockey. Hockey coming off the ceiling. And oh my, the team play right there. That was almost a spectacular goal from Northwood. 
Absolutely. That would have been one for the highlight reel as Lion Blaze wins a 50, putting it right into the net. Put Northwood up 4 to 1 with 2 minutes and 7 seconds left on the clock. Not quite as stylish as the shot before it, but a goal is still a goal, and Northwood will take that to give them the 4 1 lead here against Widener University. Oh, absolutely. And here comes Widener with a bit of an attack. Buddy, great clear, puts it to midfield. Davey, who was there waiting, doesn't quite get the touch that Widener might have been looking for. Here's Hockey up off the backboard. Maybe Lion Blaze with a touch. Great he clear from Widener. He actually had the reset, and he was able to get to that, but great job from. I think it was uh, Davey there to break that up. And, and Hockey oh, finds no. another wide open net, and he's able to punish that one with another goal. That's four uh, for Hockey. That is not what you're looking for if you're from Widener. Just accidentally leaving the net wide open. He actually went for boost. It's always ball over boost no matter what. And there is the punishment you'll see if you try to say otherwise. Absolutely agree. We saw it earlier with North and White against Concordia. They were just finding ways to punish rotations, and it seems to be a common trend through all of these Northwood teams. And Hockey just opting to pop that into the air towards the backboard. And as we're noticing, Widener is having a hard time defending their backboards here, and it's giving Northwood plenty of opportunities for the follow-up shots that are absolutely punishing Widener. Oh, absolutely. Here's Hockey with a pass to Lion Blaze. Lion Blaze doesn't quite get a shot off, but he gets an extra touch there. Davey Indeed. comes up in the air with the clear. Down for Buddy, who is just sitting there patiently waiting for his turn. And Buddy doesn't quite get that shot. Great save from Scoob right there. He had the reset, and he was trying to put it back post, but he just wasn't quite able to get enough power on it, and it was a great save by the... I think it was... You said Scoob, right? Yep. Scoob made that an incredible save, but... That's not going to stop the Northwood offense. Davey gets a demo on Lion Blaze there. Let's see if Widener can capitalize on that and get a bit of a counterattack. Lion, who was sitting there patiently waiting. Oh, opts to leave that touch for Hockey. Hockey looking to get something going with a bit of an air dribble. Gets a touch off the wall. Oh, oh a little bit of a team bump there, <laughs> team buddy bumps. just ramming into Lion Blaze. And low fives, low fives. Yeah, it was a low five. They're, just, they're celebrating early, I guess, is uh, what we like to say around here. But... <laughs> Uh, again, accidental double commit in the air, and it's going to give, should have gave Widener a ton of time, but here comes Lion Blaze off the ceiling, great pass mid, and look at that recovery speed there. He was able to take that tiny touch, get onto the ground, and get back, and that's... Uh, Another goal for a hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my. Just, that was a great pass by Buddy, and Hockey just right there to follow up with the dagger at zero seconds left. That is going to do it for game one here. Um, as both teams get in the lobby, we will switch over. Northwood goes up 1-0 to zero in the set with a very dominating performance in game one. Hockey putting up five goals, and as we look at the shot count in total, we had 13 from Northwood and only three from Widener. And I mean, to say it, shots definitely create for higher scores. And as you can see here, Northwood is able to find the back of the net. They were able to easily punish some wide open nets, especially hockey. Hockey with an absolutely insane performance just now, managing to find every little angle to put it right into the net. What is that? Five for six shooting? Five for six. He had five of our six goals, and he only had one extra shot. He almost had a perfect accuracy there. Oh, that would have been incredible to see. Very dominating performance from Northwood in this game one. Very excited to see how game two ends up. I've got a feeling, my prediction, Northwood is still going to be able to take this one, and it's going to look a little easy. I, after seeing game one, I am going to have to agree here. The only thing I would change is I think Northwood is going to shut out Widener in this game. Just based off last game, they had one accidental goal, and I think this game is going to change uh, for the better in Widener's favor. I would agree. It definitely seemed like Northwood was off to a slower start, and they managed to pick it up as the game went on, and it obviously showed that they were able to create a dominant performance off of it. Two 50s right off the kickoff. That is a rare sight there. Both teams just opting to sell it twice, and we're going to see Northwood take first possession of the game, and Buddy just going through the air, and I don't know what Lions is quite doing there, but he's going to leave Hockey in a very awkward spot. Hockey up to Buddy, up to Hockey. Hockey not quite going to get there for that goal. That would have been a hockey sixth of the day. And Lion taking one shot on net. I think 
Northwoods already had two shots, and we're only 30 seconds in. Widener is going to need to get some offense going here if they want to alleviate some of the pressure. As they and get it oh just no. as we're bringing it up, Scoob gets a shot on the net right over hockey. Great speed there by, who is that? Who set up the assist? Uh, is that Snick? Nick? Snick. So Snick set up a great pass off the, uh, off the post there, and just an unfortunate bounce back towards the middle, and Scoob was able to put it away. Uh, to give Widener the 1-0 lead in game two. Snick up in the air, doesn't quite get that shot to fall because Lion Blaze is right there waiting for it. Lion Blaze over to Buddy. Buddy might be looking to get something going here for Northwood. Takes this up for a little bit of a dribble, get, looking for a double. Got the center down, but Lion Blaze was not able to put that one in. It is a tough shot, I will give him that. Yeah, he tried to go for what we call a double tap, is when you hit it to the crossbar or hit it to the backboard and then try to touch it from the backboard down into the net and as I'm talking great pass from Lion Blaze actually is this a pass that's a great 50 from Lion just put it right middle for hockey who is just sitting there patiently waiting to strike that ties the game up 1-1 with 350 left to go we've got Davey and hockey going for the kickoff Lion Blaze up on the ceiling little catch there Buddy looking to get it up to hockey and not quite going to get it there. Lion Blaze gets a bump on Snick. Sets up for Northwood as hockey gets demoed by Scoob. Here comes Widener at a bit of a transition. And Widener just keeping the pressure on Northwood right now. Uh, they're just unable to clear it out, but huge bump from Buddy right there. And it's going to give Lion Blaze a chance to shoot. And he's just not able to get anything on it. Great fake by Davey to... Try to get Widener some possession, but oh no, here comes Northwood on the other end, Lion 1v1, and that's a Lion great pass. Buddy off the top of the car and in, Buddy puts one up for Northwood right here. What a great pass from Lion Blaze right over to Buddy. Buddy was just lurking in the top left corner of the Widener side, and it just pays sometimes to be on the offense. Absolutely, Snick not able to come up with the, uh, the save right there. Comes Lion Blaze leading a Northwood charge. Gets a good touch. Looking for Hockey. Hockey doesn't oh. quite get that touch there. Very uncharacteristic miss from Hockey. He, he usually hits those every time. And again, another pass across from Buddy. This time, Hockey's still unable to follow up. Great uh, block from Lion there. Now, yeah, he, Lion is doing a great job just keeping Widener in their half. What this does is eventually causes them to run out of boost. And oh, there Hockey it is. Hockey again. <laughs> As you saw, we were sitting on, I believe it was uh, Scoob's point of view there the entire time. He had to commit to the first one and was just unable to follow up as he had six boosts left, just not able to reach that ball there. Hockey seems to be having a crazy night across both of these games so far. Yeah. Involved in a lot of the action. What is it? Yeah, his shooting has been insane so far, plus he's gotten a lot of assists. And there, he's just passing. Hockey is playing the team player role right now, and he got rewarded last game with five goals. This game, he's already off to one. And as we're talking, Lion is going to try to take it up, but. Hockey oh. might be looking to get something set up here. Gets a great clear from Snick. Buddy sitting there patiently waiting to find his time to strike. Yep. So what ended up happening there is the Widener uh, defense actually needed boost. So they ended up just forfeiting the ball, letting us have another possession at it to come back at them in order for them to regain and get some boost to come back at us. And it worked, and they had an opportunity, but it didn't last very long. And that's a uh, very open midfield there, as nobody was there. But here comes Snick, big 50 over to Buddy. And unfortunately, nobody from Northwood's able to follow up as the ball's floating in the midfield there. Northwood looking to try to find something to get going into transition. And here comes Lion Blaze. Bit of an air dribble. Gets by one. Gets by two. Hockey. Up oh, he's going front. for the double. Gets a great double there it tap is. to put Hockey up on the board again for another goal. I saw this as soon as he took that touch to the backboard. He just had the angle right there. What a shot by Hockey. That is his seventh goal of the series so far, I think. Or did he score another uh, one? I believe so. That's his seventh of the series. He scored seven out of ten goals so far, so 70% of the goals for the Northwood offense here. And, oh no. 
That is a boomer towards the northward half, and Buddy just able to take care of it nice and clean. A little Again. bit of a double there from Widener, and Buddy's looking to make a punish off of that. Right back into Widener's half. One minute remaining. Northwood up 4-0 to zero in game two. And Northwood just taking time in their corner. Hockey working his way to the midfield with the reset. Pass over to Buddy. Oh, my. Hockey manages to get another one. What happened here? It was a... <laughs> Who went for the reset, got a pass off to Buddy, who then hit it into Hockey, who <laughs> slammed it down. I, I don't think that's what was supposed to happen, but that was definitely a, uh, how would I put it, an interesting goal. Definitely um, did seem like what was intended, but I mean, as long as it goes in, it goes in. So I guess Northwood is definitely going to take that win, and I'm sure Hockey especially. Fantastic is, oh shot from Lion right there. Great car style. control. A little Great show of the mechanics. Control. Touch, he read it off the ground, and just unfortunate the Widener defense did not see him flying from the skies down there to put it in. Northwood up 6-1 to one in game two, 35 seconds left. Widener makes a bit of an attack, but they're going to choose to leave that for Lion Blaze. Lion looking to get something going for Northwood. Northwood might put another one up, and Lion Blaze gets one off of an own goal. Guess where we're at right now. Brazil, baby! <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> We're in Brazil. There we go. That is, I think, the third time this season that we've uh, gone to Brazil with uh, other teams. So Sounds like a great spot. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be our favorite place to go because we don't usually score eight goals. We never go to Barcelona, which might happen well, here. Oh, it just kind of depends. There. Lion leads an attack. Hockey looking to try to play this one a little bit safe, maybe make a read. As Lion backs off for boost, 10 seconds left. And it's looking like Northwood is about to confirm it and close out game two. Looking Older for one going more, for another maybe. last second goal, and he just couldn't quite get underneath it to pop it back up. Uh, Northwood is going to take game two here, and it was pretty much with ease. And it was another dominating showing from Northwood in game two. And once again, hockey. Managing to find the back of the net, what was it, four times? I believe so. Four yeah. times in game two. That's what he's at a total of nine goals tonight, split between the two games. As we can see it again, Northwood put up ten shots as compared to Widener's four. That's, uh, that is not good numbers if you want to have any chance at getting back into this game. Uh... Yeah, and I'm looking at the saves, too. Uh, Northwood only had two saves, so 50% of the shots, they were just not on target. And if you want to have any chance of scoring those goals, you have to put them on target. Uh, they ended up, they did end up getting a goal, which, I mean, probably is more like one-third of their shots or one-fourth was not on target. But that one-fourth could be another goal and could be a 2-0 lead for them. You but can yeah. definitely see it on the just looking at it. 25% of Widener's goals or Widener's shots went in, whereas 70% of Northwoods yeah. were. Yeah, so it, it's it's a definitely not a good ratio you want to have. Oh, all right, we're going to get right all. back into the game here. Northwood definitely did a great job of finding ways to punish little missed rotations from Widener there. Definitely able to put it in the back of the net, making great passes. Hockey making some great finishes. Had a fantastic double tap, too. Lion made a great showing off of some of his mechanics. And here we go with game three. Starting off at Widener's half, Northwood puts on a bit of an attack. Snick is looking for a clear as Hockey goes up. Hockey doesn't quite get it. Buddy also went for it, so a bit of a double commit there. Widener looking to get something going in transition, but Buddy's trying to do whatever he can to recover there and stop everything that he possibly can. Scoob just missing the ball there. He had a chance at a shot and just wasn't able to connect. And Northwood on the counterattack here. Lion not quite getting the touch he was looking for. I think he wanted to try to keep that so he could get another one on it. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit arid, or errant. And, uh, yeah. Well, they're still in the Widener half, except they're not really doing anything in this corner here. They're just hitting it back and forth between each other, and nothing is happening. But as I'm saying that, here comes Widener on the counterattack. Huge demo from Davey there, and that gave him a chance. That is what Widener needs if they want to try to get this game going in their favor. Those demos will break up the Northwood rotation and it'll give them time and space to get those shots that they crucially need. 
seems like they're definitely starting off putting off a lot more pressure onto Northwood compared to the other two games as Buddy gets a reset. Great pass over to Hockey, who doesn't quite find the net. Great save from Scoob. And we get a demo from Lion. Lion looking for something there. Not quite going to get it in a demo from Hockey as Buddy takes a shot at the net. It's off the backboard. Looking for the double. There's a double commit there between Lion and Buddy. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication as Hockey is trailing. That was Widener's chance right there, and here Great. it is. Scoob. Great pass over from Snake to Scoob, and they put it away, giving him a 1-0 lead. Now, just like last game, are they able to hold on to this lead? Uh, as we saw last time, they kind of got blown out. Was it 7-1? Yes. So after scoring the first goal and having the momentum in their favor, uh, they didn't quite keep it in their favor for very long and it ended up costing them dearly. Uh, I would have to agree with that statement. Hockey looking to get a shot. Hockey Ooh. gets another one in. It comes off of an oh. own goal, but credited to Hockey still. What a shot by Hockey. He plays that perfectly right off the crossbar and down. Was that an own goal by them or was that yes. off the post? I that was an own that. goal. Oh no, it might have actually been off and he just put it in. That is not what you want to see 17 seconds after you got your lead. Absolutely agree. Widener just to do whatever they can to try to hold off Northwood and try to slow down each of these attacks that they're bringing in. As they look to get something going here, Widener not quite able to get anything going in transition or a counterattack. As I say that, it goes right back into the Northwood half, but there's Lion waiting for it slowly as... Buddy gets a clear, maybe looking for a pass up to Lion Blaze. Lion Ooh. looking for the touch. Not quite going to get there, but Buddy who's able to put it in. We had the flying V formation as Hockey's coming off the right side. Lion coming off the left. And the Widener player just unable to make the touch. I believe that was Scoobs It was back, unable to make it. But that gives Northwood the 2-1 lead just over halfway uh, into game three here. Great demo from Snick on Buddy to try to build up some transition. But here comes Lion Blaze on a wide open net. Able to put that one in. Putting Northwood up 3-1 to one in game three. Unfortunately, that demo wasn't quite what they were looking for. Uh, they ended up taking out the goalie, but they had no follow-up. So it meant that that demo on the goalie wasn't as useful as you'd expect. And they got punished because they had nobody back. Um, but Absolutely. Northwood just going to constantly keep their pressure going. A shot off the cross, but, or not off the cross, but off the backboard. Another shot off the backboard. And Hockey going for it again. Hockey it's, gets a oh demo, my. pushes it into the corner. Here comes Northam looking for something. Lion Blaze with a whiff. Scoob on an almost open net. Buddy right there. Davey looking to disrupt. Ooh. Great save and clear from Buddy. As Scoob demos Hockey, putting it right back into Northwood's half. Snick is on his way. Scoob's on his way. Here comes a counterattack from... Ooh. Wider. Not quite where uh, you wanted to shoot it there. Uh, kind of wanted to get on target. It was a slight bit wide. And uh, yeah, Northwood is just going to take their time and slowly work down the clock here. They only have 90 seconds remaining. And they're holding on to a lead. But oh my, Snick able to snipe that on the front post there. What a shot. He definitely found a hole in Northwood's rotation. He was able to snipe that one right through into the bottom left. I think Buddy thought he had more time than he did. But that was a great shot, great placement. I think if you would put that any more to the right, and that is getting saved by Buddy, who's flying across the goal. Davey not able to find anything after cheating up on that kickoff. Buddy looking for a touch here. Buddy gets his touch, looking for one more. Doesn't quite get it. And there's Snick able to make a bit of a clear. Gets the touch off the wall up to Scoob. And here comes Lion Blaze, just waiting patiently for it, looking to get it over to Hockey. Hockey gets a little bit of a pop right there. Widener turning the heat up, trying to get these infield passes going. Just unfortunate that Hockey was able to break up the one between, I believe it was Snick and uh, Spood. And oh no. Buddy, oh, buddy taking his time, and that's a double demo for Lion Blaze. He's going for the third. He got he, the third. He got the third, but, but just on the one that spawned. Yeah, wasn't the one that was coming at the ball. He just, oh, Scoob got revenge. 
Scoop was done with Lion Blaze and just <laughs> absolutely removed him from the pitch. Scoop going for more demos. Uh, it looks like he missed and uh oh. Oh, and there goes Lion Blaze once again as Buddy looks for a shot. So much power came behind that one. Great save from Snick though. Lion Blaze looking to get a clear here. Takes his time with it. A little bit of an air dribble looking to get it up to hockey. Not quite gonna get a touch for hockey there as Northwood is on the verge of closing this one out. Oh, one more oh. last second goal. Come on, Lion Blaze with the reset. Oh no, he couldn't quite get anything on it. But the ball is still in the air. Actually, Widener University has a chance to tie. I, I cast a <laughs> cursed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They they had a chance. I accidentally. Uh, Northwood taking I cast game or cursed three, it. three to two, closing out this set. It was definitely a more dominating showing from Northwood, and it was great to see. Thank you guys for all coming in and watching the set. Great set from Northwood. Great to see. A great performance from Widener towards game three. Definitely keeping it close, keeping a lot of pressure on Northwood. And hopefully we can see more games as close as this in the future. Uh, if you guys want to stay updated on all of Northwood's Rocket League matches, feel free to follow down below and turn those notifications on. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.